Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through steps on how to animate the Twitter logo if you are launching the Twitter app for iPhone or any other mobile application. This is something I just kind of experimented on and stumbled across on how to do it and I wanted to share this quick little tutorial with you. So this is the outcome. I'm working on several artboards here as you can see, but um, this is going to be the outcome from this specific tutorial. So I'm just going to click on my third artboard here and as you can see I have all my artboards synced and prototyped and so I'm just going to hit the play button and you can see the delay it pops and it pops out and reverts back to it would revert to the home page of your Twitter or your news feed but I don't have that so I just kind of had it go back or loop back to my uh, interface for a iPhone. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to do first, um, I'm just going to unsync all these uh, prototypes. I'm going to leave this one over here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink these ones here. I'm going to do the same all across, so I'm just going to click on the artboard name and then drag the blue handle away. And I'm going to do that until the very end. And then here I have that looped back, so let me just bring that all the way back, okay? Okay, so right now I am in the prototype tab, as you can see here in the top left hand corner. I'm just going to revert back to my design tab for a second. So this is basically a Twitter logo that I've pulled a PNG from um, online. And why don't, I just, why don't we just do this right from the start? So I'm just going to delete these as well. Okay. And this is where I started using masks, and I'll get into that in just a second. Okay, let's get rid of this. And finally, this last one. So now all I have are multiple... Um, iPhone screens here with the Twitter blue and I'm just gonna open up my finder here and let's let me just bring this over and I'm going to go get that I'm just gonna go get the Twitter logo the PNG version of it here. So I'm just going to bring it over to this third art board and try to just do that. Just drop it in there. There. Okay, so right now there's the Twitter logo. I'm just going to bring it into this area here over my iPhone and I want to shrink it down. So I'm just going to hold shift and option and shrink that down so it stays in the center. I'm going to make it uh, something like, oh, there is good, maybe a little bit smaller. Okay. And you can see right here, Twitter intro three, there it is right there, Twitter white. So it's just a white Twitter bird um, with no background. Okay. So I'm just going to command C, go to my fourth artboard, command V. And because this is the same size, I'm just going to shrink it down just a little bit here. ever so subtly, slightly, just to make it just a little bit smaller so that when it bounces out and then swoops in, you can tell that there's just a little bit of difference there, okay? So now I'm gonna to go to my fourth artboard, or fifth here. I'm just gonna Command C, go here, Command V, and XD paste it from the previous artboard from where you, where you got it from, okay? And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger here. So you can see the transition from that size, a little bit smaller so it bounces, and then this is where it starts to come towards you and it disappears. So I'll do that, Command C, and I'm gonna go to my artboard six. I'm gonna open up the artboard this time. And the, um, the mock-up I'm working on here has image masks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this image mask and I'm gonna paste the Twitter logo in that mask. So when I 
enlarge it, it's going to mask out of the screen. If you didn't do that, then it's just going to hang over the, the mock-up, and we don't want that, okay? So I'm just going to go click on the image mask and then hit Command-V, and um, now when I enlarge it, you'll see I'll make it a little bit bigger there, and I'll click off, and you can see that it's now masked, okay? So just make sure, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this mock-up um, and credit where I got it from too. I can't remember the fellow's name right now, but there was some great mock-ups on this website. And so I'll, I'll give you a link to it so that maybe you can try something like this as well. And then if you wanna get to this logo, you just gotta double click in it like so, and then you can make it bigger or smaller how you would like. Okay, so that's good. And now I'm just gonna, um, let's do the same thing here. So I'm gonna copy it from here. Go to my artboard seven, okay, and where are we here? There it is there. I'm gonna click on the mask and paste it on, in the mask, and now I'm gonna really blow it up, okay. Okay, so now it's really big, it's getting really bigger, right? That's good there. Okay, so you can see the transition now, and then let's do the same thing to the last artboard, which is artboard A. Double click there, click on the mask and paste. And this is where I'm just gonna really blow it up. Almost so it covers the screen, okay? And let's get a little bit bigger. And I'm also going to play with the opacity. So right now it's at 100. I want it to kind of fade out. Maybe I'll keep it at like 40, 50 maybe. Let's do 50. Uh, maybe a little bit more, 55, how's that? Good. And let's move it to the right so that when it when it shoots out, it shoots out from the, the right, okay? So there's the first artboard, second with, um, with the Twitter logos, I mean. And then you can see the transition, the progress, how it's getting bigger and bigger, and then it disappears, okay? On these first artboards, I am going to post a separate video on how to add these icons in a repeat grid and how to also, I'm going to show you now how to link the Twitter logo to the second artboard and then add a time transition so it all plays out. So I think we're good here. Um, if we need to revert back and fix anything, I can do that. So I'm going to switch over to prototype. And my first artboard here, I, I narrow or I zoom in and go in on the actual I, uh, Twitter application. And so when you click that, the blue handle will be here and you just drag it to your second artboard, okay? And then from there, all the transitions you're going to do are going to be on the actual artboards. Um, because you can't add time transitions to um, icons. If you want to do a time transition, it's got to be to the actual artboard itself. Okay, so now I'm on two, and so when you'll see, I'll have this where it's clicked, okay, because this is set to tap. So when I tap it, it auto animates to the second destination, so the second artboard. I have it to an ease in at 0 0.1 seconds. And then I just created a transition here where um, the screen, I set it here. Let me just go back to design for a sec. Um, I have it a blue screen there, so it almost pops out when you press it. And I set the opacity to 45. Go back to prototype. And so the second artboard, the transition here is time, zero seconds, auto animate. A lot of the, the delay in here are set to zero and the duration set to zero because I want this process to happen pretty quickly, okay? Um, so the easing, I don't want anything and I've set it to 0 0.2. I'm gonna click on this third artboard now and this is where I'm gonna drag this blue indicator handle to the fourth artboard and I have it set to tap, okay? The action, I do want it to auto animate Okay. I'm sorry, the trigger, we want it to, as a time trigger, not tap. We don't want anything tapping. The only tap that you set in this project is that first initial tap to the icon, okay? Everything else should be set to time. Okay, so we're on the third artboard here. Time trigger, zero points. Yep. Zero seconds, auto animate. 
we um, actually, yes, we want a two second delay because when we open it up, we want that Twitter logo to about delay for two seconds. I know that seems like a long time. Then you're gonna have that bounce back from the logo. It'll get a little bit smaller than increase and swoop out, okay? So let's set a delay of two and a duration of two with a ease out of none, okay? Actually, let's try, um, let's try ease out for now. Okay, let's go to our fourth artboard and let's drag this blue indicator handle to the artboard five, Twitter intro five. We want a time trigger and in this case, we want the delay to be 0, 0. .0. Auto animate is fine. Easing set to none. Duration set to zero as well. So this is where we start putting zeros because we want this to happen pretty fast. If you open your Twitter app and um, just open the Twitter application and look at the, the transition or the intro logo, it happens pretty fast, okay? So there we go. That's good, uh, set to none, time, auto, good. Let's do the same thing here, drag that over. It keeps the same settings, so time, auto, animate, that's good. Let's keep going, drag it over. It keeps the same settings, which is good. Same settings. And then this last one, let's play it first and see where we're at. I'm see what we're at here so I'm gonna hit play okay so there you go you saw there let's do that again it delays it goes out and then swoops at you and then just as a final step I'm just gonna go to that last artboard here and see this blue indicator here I'm gonna grab it and loop it right back to the first artboard right there and in this case, I want the delay to be zero. I want an ease in out. And let's set the duration to 0 0.2. And let's try it out now. So I'm gonna go to my first artboard and hit play. Here's my, my home page. I'm gonna click on the Twitter logo. It's gonna open and then perform that setting like so. So you just click it. There's the app opening and there you go. So that's the transition of how to create the intro. Uh, based on the experience that I've done, okay, um, there is a few things that I would probably change. Um, because I've done this on a mock-up, I can't transition this as a time uh, when I'm opening up the app, because if I do, it's going to transition the actual whole artboard rather than um, auto-animate it, okay? So try it out. I'm going to put this uh, mock-up on, um, I'm going to include the link in my blog and then you can try it out, download it and use these same prototype steps to come up with the same kind of uh, transition and animation for the Twitter, Twitter logo, okay? Hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial. Uh, check out my YouTube channel, subscribe for more content on a weekly basis. I hope you're learning and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye now.